I've been getting a lot of questions on hydrovent about uh, the effects that a firefighter and any potential victims are going to see. So that's what this video is going to be all about. We have two containers here that are set up. The burn room itself has an open window. The door, the uh, other one is has a door open, so the fire gets ripping. The burn room is uh, meant to be like a bedroom, unsurvivable, and the rest of the house is survivable. You can see the fire load we have and the amount of fire. We let them get ripping for every time. You can see the window right there. That's where we're going to put hydrovent in. So once we put hydrovent in, again, it's put in from the outside. It's a hydraulic ventilation and suppression tool. 95 gallon minute fog out pulls your heat and smoke out. You can see exactly what it's doing. And 95 gallon minute straight streams in. That's what's making that smoke turn from black to white. The views that we're going to look at next are lower left where that guy's sitting on the ground. So he's taking a view. He's, got, he's holding on to two cameras. He's got a thermal imaging camera. You can actually see the couch in the lower left thermal imaging camera. He's looking straight out through the window. And then if you like reading smoke and seeing all that, we've got a GoPro facing the door. We've also got temperature sensors at 3 feet and 6 feet inside the fire room. And if you look upper left, that's the window. So you're looking straight through the two lower ones out the window on the other side. The window's all the way on the other side of us. All these videos are synced together. Once you see the red box light up on the left, the hydrovent's about to go in. Once water starts flowing, you're going to see the... Uh, timer go off. Once the timer goes off, start by looking at the thermal imaging camera. That rollover is what's going to kill you folks. You want to take the heat out of the room, you want to get rid of that rollover. That's what happened in four seconds. Now you're looking at the amount of smoke. That smoke is being pulled away from you. This is Again, this is your attack point. Any potential victims might be in this side. Pulling that smoke out through the fire room away from you, diminishing very quickly. 16 seconds. That took about a minute and a half to pull that hose, put it in place, and I'm walking back around. I get on the second line with you guys. We make our attack. We started over 1,300 degrees in that room 30 seconds ago, and we're down to 845 at the 30-second mark. Now we make our attack. Look at what we've done for ourselves. We've softened the fire, taken the rollover out of the equation. We pulled the smoke, the heat, the steam away from us. Now we're crawling in. We've got the ability to see which increases our safety 100%. Now, if we can find a victim very quickly, we can find a seat of the fire, and that fire is being held in check by the hydrovent, and the, stuff, the bad stuff is being pulled away from us. At the minute mark, again, we cut temperatures basically in half, and uh, now we get a recap basically of the 30-second and one-minute mark. That's what it does from the inside. That's what it does from our vantage point. Again, softens the fire, increases visibility, decreases temperatures, pulls the bad stuff out through the fire room. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, hydrovent.us. Thank you.